on this one we have a uh, a timing step and then on the on the second step i'm waiting for donald to get there at the same time okay. so it's really uh it's about uh timing and and like you said getting that guy to stand up getting his pads up creating some type of force and some momentum so that um after that timing step and that contact on that second foot hitting the ground um your tackle comes in there and he uh uh he he gets in there and he starts driving from that point um and then once again it's helping your buddy it's not running right up to the linebacker um it's taking care of that down guy first um you know a, a lot of guys get really eager to you know to get to their assignment to get to their linebacker um and they end up forgetting about the down guy Right. Take care of the first level first. Exactly. And, you know, the tackle coming in too. One thing about me is I always try to stay square. You know, right now I'm a little crossed up, but I get back square immediately. You know, I'm always trying to stay square, you know, to go up for when your guard does leave. You know, you could tell by how much man that you have that your guard's most likely is going to leave. And I could tell by the way he explained it to me that, that you know, KO's going to get up to the next level. This one right here, I think this was a slant, like a game stunt right here. I think we're which, that's where that's where that's where a timing step is so useful, is because I'm taking that timing step in that second foot. I'm supposed to be making contact uh, with that three technique, but if he's not there, um, usually that means the nose is crossing as a slant. So uh, taking a good timing step on this rep right here is what saved me and was was able to help out the center on this nose that's returning right here.